Welcome back to Trump the Internet. I'd say probably the greatest site on the whole Internet. Now, your president, as you may know, has been having some nasty fights with the weak people in Silicon Valley, the place where they make great tech and great breasts. You know, my wife, Melatonin, tremendous work from Silicon Valley, as does my beautiful daughter, Ivanka. So I thought they'd be pro-Trump, but it turns out they're very anti-Trump. Okay, first Twitter tried to act tough. They put these nasty, disgraceful fact checks on your president's tweets. My tweets are so strong in facts. It was a disgrace that they did that. And then the cyborg at Facebook, Zuckerberg, I guess, you know, he wanted to get on, on the action, look like he's a tough guy, even though you can see him, he's very not tough. Probably the least tough person I've ever met. And he started doing funny things with bans and temporary things on Facebook, trying to hurt our great conservative movement, trying to give the Dems the election. So I decided to do something nobody's ever done before. I'm going to cut out the nasty Democrats and the people that hate our country. Because, you know, Silicon Valley is located in California, which is basically sort of part of Venezuela by now. A very horrible place. They've destroyed a, what once was a beautiful state. So what we're going to do is introduce a new Trump form of communication that will eliminate the need for the social media sites. Our great Americans, our great patriots, our great MAGA people will be able to communicate and eliminate the nasty people in Silicon Valley. They're called Trump's analog tweets. Analog tweets, okay? What they are is, I'll explain it to you in case you don't know. What we basically do is we take a beautiful card with a beautiful picture. We had great artists, okay, strong artists. And as you can see, there's a whole display, a whole variety you can pick from. And what you do is you take this beautiful card and on the back, you write a message. You write a strong, beautiful message to the person. You place something we call an Amazon subsidy right in the corner of it. Okay, you address it to somebody. And it's called, by the way, analog tweets. I didn't, you know, I'm very smart, but I, you know, the te our great tech people explained analog. When I told Mike Pence, he said, I'm a big fan of analogs. And I said, I think it's pronounced a different way, Mike, but we love our vice president. And then you put your message on it, okay? And when you're done with the message, you put it in government boxes, okay? And our great government, our great Trump government, will deliver the analog tweet. They'll deliver the analog tweet to the person you address it to. Nobody's ever thought of something like this. Nobody. And... You know, it's nothing like the post service, which is tremendously weak. As you know, we're not going to be funding it. We're going to start a new service so much better than the post office. It's going to run six days a week. They're going to dress in uniforms. They're going to come in cars with special government labeling. It's going to be a crime if somebody tampers with your analog tweets. It's going to be a federal crime if somebody takes your beautiful analog tweet and disrupts its service or reads it without your acknowledgement. Nobody's ever thought of this before, okay? We're gonna revolutionize the way news and messages are delivered to our great American people. The same way, remember when I did it with Obamacare and it became Trump Care, and all of a sudden everybody loved it? And when I ripped up that horrible NAFTA and gave it a new name with basically nothing changed and we called it the MCA. Okay, and everybody, everybody loves it now. Everybody acknowledges that it's a much better deal. This is what we're doing with analog tweets. We're going to send them through our own service six days a week, rain, sleet, or snow. They're going to deliver your analog tweets. So it's a beautiful thing. You can get, you know, they say, if you want to get some analog tweets to send to friends, they always say Lincoln bio, but he was, you know, I don't know why they're always talking about Lincoln on the YouTube channels. He was a failed president. You know, very weak, okay? You know, I prefer presidents, A, that don't go to the theater, and then if they do go to the theater, that they can go home after the theater. So very weak president, overrated, and it's okay. So there's a Lincoln bio. I don't know why they say that, but if you want analog tweets, Lincoln bio. Trump analog tweets. Nobody's ever thought of this before. Totally not postcards.